Hey guys, Silversaurus here, welcome to a new video. So today we're doing a little bit of an unboxing and it is some fractional gold. And I'll be honest, this is when to buy fractional gold. So these are two pieces I already have. Um, they're the last two remaining 10,000 coins that uh, that I had after selling you know, what I uh, built up. Um, and here's what we have now. So four new coins to the stack, and I bought these because they were such a good deal. I couldn't believe the deal, you know. Um, just jumped online, and uh, there it was. Seller wanted to uh, get rid of four of these. Um, literally posted the ad about a minute earlier, and I was lucky enough to jump in before a queue of other people and uh, pick these up. So these cost uh, 140 each, um, so about... If you had 10 of them, it would obviously be £1,400 per ounce. And uh, at the spot price, you know, being about 1360 at the time, I think it was, 1350 somewhere there. Um, these were an absolute bargain. Um, you know, you just don't see 10,000 coins going so so cheap. Um, the Kookaburra, I believe, is quite popular. I don't know much about it, but uh, that is the Kookaburra. Uh, we have 10th ounce maple, looks like mint packaging. Another 10th ounce maple, again, same sort of packaging. And finally, we have an American gold eagle. Uh, so this is my first gold eagle, never had one before. Uh, to be honest, the design does look better than what I thought. Um, you know, not something I normally buy in England, in the UK, and around Europe, you tend to see the eagles at a higher premium than most other gold coins. So it just doesn't make much sense to uh, go for them. Um, I know they're not uh, 24 carat. You've got the buffalo, you know, that's 24 carat. So it uh, it was an easy choice to buy a buffalo over an eagle, um, considering that buffalo is actually a lot cheaper as well. But yeah, I just wouldn't pay the premium really for uh, the American eagle when you know, it's, it's basically the same as a Kruger and it's just got a different design on. So the Kruger and the premium is obviously a lot lower and uh, and Britannia's and most of the coins. So yeah, not in a rush to really buy one ounce um, Eagle, but if the price was right, obviously I would pick one up. So yeah, I've basically picked these uh, four 10th ounce coins uh, and they join these other two. This Britannia, um, I found it in uh, my storage one of my storages I just forgot about it so uh, I don't know if that was included in the last hundred pieces challenge and then this Royal Arms I picked this up and uh, yeah when I sold things like the Krugerrands and uh, Britannias that I had I kept hold of the Royal Arms because I like it and you just don't see that many about and there's the design a bit bigger for those who aren't familiar with it so that is my pickup and like I say I'm happy to buy fractional gold when the premium is, you know, a few percent over spot, um, especially when that's delivered. Would I pay, you know, I've seen people trying to sell these for around £200, um, just over 200 and just under 200 and people are buying them. You know, the the Kookaburra, is, perhaps it's popular or low mintage, I don't know, but um, sure, it's a nice design, but that's the problem with, with these coins. You know, if you want to sell them quickly, you, you need to really have a competitive price and it's just hard to buy them at a competitive price you know that's the best deal I've seen on these um, probably two or three times in the past year I've seen such a good price um, on you know on 10th and that's still you know over the spot price so my main issue with fractional gold is the premiums you have to buy it for um, you know, if you go to dealers, especially, you might you might get lucky like I've done. But uh, on the whole, it just makes sense. Um, you know, if you're going to go for fractional stuff in the UK, it makes sense to go for the sovereign. Uh, you know, just under quarter ounce, but very low premium compared to other quarter ounces. And uh, to me, yeah, the, the half ounce it seems to be like the the worst of both worlds. You know, it's it's not super cheap. You know, you're paying. Um, a bit of a premium and it's you know it's got a bit of a premium but it's still quite a big coin um, compared to a lot of others you know that people like 
So ultimately, you know, the one ounces make the most sense, um, particularly the Krugs or if you can get a blow spot deal on something else. But uh, yeah, happy to pick those up. Um, I probably will just advertise these for sale and, uh, you know, happy to take a bit of profit. Um, you know, like if I can sell them for around about the 160, then, uh, you know, it's, it's about 20 pounds per piece or over six of them. Well, not including those two, but, uh, you know, over the four, it's uh, around 80 pounds. And for that price, uh, you could buy what an ounce and a, not an ounce, definitely not an ounce, a gram and a half of gold, you know, maybe something like that. Um, but yeah, I'd be, I'm at a premium of like 1400 pounds there with those coins. And, uh, you know, for something like the uh, Canadian maple I have, which was just over 1300, it's still quite a bit more, but, you know, I'm pretty, pretty sure you could sell those straight away around about the 150 mark there. Um, you know, something like that. So the problem with, like I say, buying these, when you see them at dealers at like 160, 170 pounds each, then that means you're kind of, you're buying at 1600 an ounce or 1700 an ounce in pounds, not in dollars. So, you know, you're looking over $2,000 an ounce price, which, or, or around, depending on the exchange rate, which it just doesn't make sense when, you know, you can be buying sovereigns, nice sovereigns under the 1400 and they're, you know, more liquid in the UK. So they're my issues with small gold like this. Yes, it's cheap, you know, in terms of it's only a hundred and something pounds. It's not, you know, over a thousand pounds um, and a lot more people can afford this, but they're also, you know, a lot of people who um, they would perhaps rather, you know, keep to the lower premium. So when you see this at 160 pounds at the moment, yes, it's it's cheap in terms of it's only 160, but it's expensive that you're paying 1600 an ounce equivalent. So it depends how the buyer looks at it. And uh, that's why I don't tend to buy these, but it's why I jumped on the deal when it came available. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know what you think. I know uh, Austrian Stacker loves the 10,000 gold coins and I'm pretty sure I've seen you with a crew, uh, a, not a Krugerrand, a Kookaburra. They're both the same, all right? Similar kind of animal on them. And uh, yeah, something different. Like I say, getting an American Eagle when uh, you're in the UK at a low premium is pretty rare. So nice to have them and you can't go wrong with uh, the maples, you know, beautiful design. And obviously four nines fine. So talk to you soon, guys.